Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Today we're going to be discussing um, unrighteousness from the book of Romans, chapter 3. And I'll be reading from um, the King James. Join me. We'll start from verse 10. You'll be puzzled at this statement. As it is written, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. If you stop there, you could leave the place with a wrong perception of what the Lord is saying. He's saying that this was what was written in the law and the prophets in the past. That's verse 10. There is none righteous, no, not one. Follow me down. There is none. Okay, before we continue, just note that that word righteous as written in the scripture, is the same word that is translated just, justified, just. So you could say there is none just, no, not one. So any place you come across righteous in the New Testament is the same word that is translated in other places as justified or just. So let's go on. Verse 11, there is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good. No, not one. This is what was written. Their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips. Whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. And the way of peace have they not known. This is describing us before now. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law said, it said to them who are under the law, but every mouth may, that, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Verse 20. Therefore by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified. See that word justified? Like I said, you can flip it and use the same word. There, there shall no, sorry. There shall no flesh be righteous in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. So let's read it this way again. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be righteous in his sight. So the law cannot make you righteous in God's sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Verse 21. But now the righteousness of God or the justification of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. So if God, where God justifies you, it is witnessed or it is made evident without the law. Being witnessed by the law and the prophets. So the law and the prophets have also stated that the time will come where you'll be justified by God. Even the righteousness of God or the justification of God, which is by faith, in Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference. So he's saying here that justification from God or righteousness of God, God's righteousness, that which he bestows upon you, not that which you work for. The righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ. So this is righteousness or justification by faith of Jesus Christ, by trusting Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. So everyone that believes, this righteousness is imputed unto them. This justification is imputed unto them. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It says, so everybody has fallen short. Everybody doesn't meet the standard. Now, because we didn't meet the standard, see what God did. Verse 24, being justified freely or being made righteous freely by his grace. So he made us righteous or just justified freely by his grace, not by any works we did. Through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So the redemption that is in Christ Jesus was the, the vehicle where which he used to make us righteous. Verse 25. Whom God had set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of God. To declare, I say at this time, his righteousness that he might be just or he might be righteous. And the justifier or the person who makes righteous of him which believes in Jesus. So it is all planned, designed and executed by God. Your righteousness is as filthy rags. Your righteousness is nothing before God. 
but he now imputes a righteousness unto you and that righteousness is by faith in his son jesus christ and this is giving as grace a free gift to all those which believe in jesus you get the point if you believe in jesus you have been made the righteousness of god in christ jesus you are now righteous by faith in the lord jesus by believing in that sacrifice of jesus you get the point god bless you hallelujah so you are no longer uh, one who is unrighteous before him he is the one who has made you righteous so if you are righteous it means you are in good standing with god and then you can approach god and fellowship with him and and take things that he has placed for you here on earth freely god bless you hallelujah